Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to use follow up then to never forget anything. Are you watching the right video? Well, if you've ever forgotten to follow up on something really important and you'd like to never do that again, then yes. Questions answered in today's video. Follow up then. What is it? How do you use it to send emails to future you such that you never forget to follow up ever again and why you should use it to never forget anything? Follow up then. What is it? Followupthen.com is a website and a service that lets you send emails to future you, which is you, but in the future. DeLorean not required. And when you're able to send emails to future you, it's possible to never forget anything ever again. Sending emails to the future also eliminates the requirement to ever remember to follow up. Imagine what it would be like if you literally never had to remember to follow up with other people. Think about the list of follow-up tasks in your head, the ones you're trying to remember right now. I want you to pause for a moment and feel the cognitive load. What if this list in your head just magically disappeared? And what if a reminder for each individual follow-up magically reappeared right when you need it? Does this sound helpful to you? Yes, Josh, can we get on with it? <laughs> yes, let's. So, follow up then. How do you use it to send emails to future you such that you never forget anything or ever have to remember to follow up ever again? I'll answer this by demoing three examples. The first starts with an email to Elon Musk. The second will show how to add context to these follow-up reminder emails. And the third will show us how to never forget anything. Let's dive right in. All right, here's the scenario. We've got a really good pitch idea for Elon and we're gonna send him an email about this pitch, but we're worried he may overlook this email from us because he's very busy. Also, we're very busy. We may forget that we've sent this email and forget to follow up with him if he doesn't return the email back to us. So we're gonna use Follow Up Then's email reminding service. I want to take you to the website because they got great copy. Think of a date, put it before the at sign, we'll follow up then. Thousands of dates supported, just type what you're thinking. And as you can see here, it's running through all the different permutations. Nothing to install, works on every device, it's just an email address. And finally, autocomplete makes it magical. So let's jump into the actual demo or example that I have keyed up for you here. So here's our email that we sent to Elon. And, you know, we only gave him two days, so unsurprisingly, he didn't actually get back to us in time. I'll show you what I sent. So here's the email. I sent it to Elon at Tesla. And then I put two days at followupthen.com in the BCC line. So that's the magic sauce, right? It's the date or time interval before the at symbol followupthen.com, and there you go. So I put two days at followupthen.com in the BCC line. You can guess what happened next. In two days, I got a reminder, and this is what it looks like. It's super cool. So I've got options. I've got this email that came back to me because it is, you know, it reminded me. So I could, I could hit the R button to reply, and I could pop open, and I could say to Elon, hey man, you know, I could kind of punk him. <laughs> Why don't you get back to me, bro? Uh, but I'm not going to take that approach. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this follow-up then reminder email. We've got options, a multiple or an array of delay options. And, you know, I only gave him two days. It typically gets back to me, you know, between four and five days. So let's give him a week. So I'm going to hit this 1W, which is one week. It's a delay. This email right here is all set up to talk to the computer to tell it to give it that one week delay that I just asked for. I don't need to read this. I'm just gonna hit the control button and the enter button and it's gonna send the email. And now this email has been delayed for another week. I can hit the E button and archive it and we can move on. Uh, so this shows you how you can use follow up then to never have to remember to follow up. That's the first example. The second is, or what I'm gonna show you second here, uh, is how to add context or instructions uh, so that when future you gets this email, it's even more helpful. You know, we're going to, we're going to show empathy for future you, if we will. Okay. So I met this guy, Bob Dabalina. He works at Inatech. 
um, and I actually wrote the wrong name of the company there. I'll apologize later. But so I, I met him. Oh, no, this nanometer, conf, nanometer conference. That's what it was. And I, I asked him, hey, you want to meet up for coffee sometime to discuss business opportunities? And right after I sent this email, what I did or what I'm going to do right now for us here in this example is show you how you can provide context or instructions to future you. So not only you don't forget to follow up with them, but you get additional information that's helpful. <clears throat> so I sent Bob this email unsolicited, and I don't know if he's going to respond to me. So I want to make sure that I follow up with him if he does not respond. But I also want to provide context and information to future me. So I hit the, the F key on my keyboard for forward. And what I'm going to do is, so here for us today, um, let's say that, you know, I'm going to give this guy... I don't know, three days to follow up with me. I would put three days in the two line. I'm going to send this directly to follow up then. I'm not putting it in the BCC line because I'm just sending it to follow up then. Uh, but for the purposes of this demo, I want to see this thing come back. So I'm using 30 seconds. But we use three days, four days, whatever the threshold is for us to, uh, for him to get back to us. We could put Wednesday. Um, whatever date or time interval we choose before the at symbol and then execute. That's all you got to do. But what I'm going to do here in the body of the email is I'm going to provide that additional context. So when I get this email, it's even more helpful. Uh, this email reminds me that Bob Dabalina is the growth VP at Inotech. I think the autocorrect got me there. Interested in partnering on sports nanometers. His wife is an architect. He has two daughters at Purdue and he loves kayaking. So now when I send this off in two days on Wednesday, whatever the interval is that we chose, when this email comes back, it's going to give me all that good information. So this shows us how we can add context to those emails that we also that, that also remind us and then allow us to never forget to follow up. The third example here is, is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to use follow up then and a persistent reminder to never forget anything. So here's the example. And this is actually a real example. This morning, uh, I, I developed my charter. And I want to review my charter on a weekly basis. And I decided that Saturdays are the best day for me to have the opportunity to review this charter. And I don't want to forget. Um, and so I could just do one follow-up. But then I got to hit, keep hitting the remind button that you saw earlier or the delay. I don't want to do that. I want to see this email every Saturday. Some Saturdays I want to look at it or read it. Some Saturdays I don't. But I never want to forget. I don't ever want to forget to look at my charter. So... I sent the email to every Saturday. Let's focus on that for a second. Every Saturday, and this could, of course, could be any interval. Every three weeks, every second Tuesday. Um, you name it, put it in front of the at sign, and it'll come back to you on that interval. Every 12 months, every three years, every 10 years. Uh, but every Saturday is what I chose. The second piece of this is the new piece that I want to make sure we're clear on is FUT.io which is a great idea. They shortened the followup then.com, which is a bit of a lengthy typing deal, to fut.io. So on your desktop or especially on mobile, super easy to type out, barely an inconvenience. All right, that's the third example. Uh, and this is again, how to never forget anything. So just imagine what you could send out there into the ether and have it come back to you. All right, we're gonna archive this email. And that 30-second reminder that we shot out came back to us. This is that meetup for coffee with Bob at Inatech. And you can see here with the, again, the magic of threading, uh, we've got the follow-up then email reminding us to follow up with Bob uh, because we asked him out the coffee and he hasn't responded yet. Uh, but then, of course, in that thread, we'll have this piece of information here that is super helpful for future us. All right, so those are the three examples that I wanted to show you. We're going to go ahead and jump back and... See what I didn't want to forget. Follow up then, why would you use it? To never forget to follow up and to never forget something you absolutely must remember. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the cognitive relief that you receive when you outsource and offload the task of remembering to a trusted system, in this case, follow up then, we know this is true because of the Zagarnik effect, but that's a story for another video. Assuming you're sold and you're asking, follow up then, how do I sign up? It's as simple as sending an email right now. 
to now at followupthen.com or now at fut.io. Or think of any date. Drop it in front of at followupthen.com and hit send. Moments later, you'll get this email response to start the very frictionless signup process. Simply hit the continue button. Do it. <laughs> Future you will thank you for it. Finally, thank you for watching. Don't forget, linked goodness in the description down below. Like, subscribe, share this with someone that might enjoy it. And if I inspired you to sign up, please let me know. Finally, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.